We are back again with game number three. Let's roll. We got our third opponent, Steppenfolk. And we have a pretty decent hand. Uh, we need Shadow, but I think the hand is functional enough without it for now, and Crest will help us find both a third power for this and or a Shadow for these, so I'm game. And unless we see a Fate thing, I'm fine playing this turn 1, so we can attack turn 2. Maybe we even get a 1-drop to shoot down, that would be the sweetest. Seems more like rule control. That's great though. That allows us to go for red cage instead. Which is much better. Could have kept this, just more relics and more go wide, but I don't really want to. I'd rather draw like more power and different elements than just a couple of like low impact swarm things here. Okay, so we play this first. Bottom that. I think we attack, see what happens. Because we don't want to run too much into, say, a hailstorm. I feel like this is a bit better here than playing Hideaway, because we can also loot. And Hideaway is like a decent reload after a hailstorm, potentially. Not bad, but also not that great. So I would argue it's still probably the weakest card in our hand. Because this kinda reloads better. Huh. Maybe not. Maybe this is a bit worse, I'm not 100% sure. They don't have that great spot removal for this usually. They ice bolted, I'm happy. So the best thing they have is like defiance on attack that denies us getting a red in the process. It still has a like much higher ceiling than just keeping the hideaway, and they're very comparable. If they don't sweep and we draw ready power, we're probably just gonna play smuggler, get rid of the teacher to get refusal anyway. See, yeah, that's what I meant. attack with the reds given that we have an obelisk coming in that forces this to trade with a red. If we draw another ready power that would be ideal. Otherwise we can't play obelisk. So I would prefer to if we draw a power it to be a ready one or just something else that we can play and leave refusal open. But once again we're looking pretty good here. Now, drawing the power to deploy Obelisk becomes more and more important. Otherwise we might not have a good attack next turn. Hmm. Given that this is a pretty decent reload, I'm fine with just not leaving Refusal open here for a turn. You still like kind of reload into like a 5, 6 plus a 2, 2 potentially with refusal back up again. And given how the opponent's blocking, they don't even have harsh roll. Otherwise they would have jumped here. So yeah, the opponent's probably just dead. Or maybe they have harsh roll, but not the ready power. In a way, game is over. Point of no return, I would say. That's a pretty good play here, but it's not gonna be good enough. GG. Anything that beats this basically loses to this. Important to counter here because the other play they have might be an ice bolt. You can't counter. And yeah, here we just bring an attack and they die. Even if they have like double defiance. Easy game, easy life. Another reason why the deck's pretty good, it's favored against all the top decks, like it's uh, at least slightly 
or reasonably favored against Hora Midrange. It's uh, noticeably favored against Zone Scar. We tested all this before the um, RMC, and it is even possibly one of the best decks against Horror Control from the decks I can think of, because it just kind of outgrinds them. Like, you don't even have to win the way we are winning. You don't have to win fast. You can also just win slow and grindy. Getting a little worse now with the introduction of Sanctum. They sometimes have these games where they can just kind of put you behind and Sanctum and pull far enough ahead that you have a hard time grinding them out. But um, you even have a pretty reasonable long game against them, so being able to beat them down and also go long if you have to and win that game as well is why the deck is so insane. Like, it has a great aggro plan and a great grind plan. Like, if a deck excels in kind of all stages of, a of the game is when you might have the best deck and a kind of super powerful deck at your hand, and I think that's one of the cases. Anyway, that was game 3 with 3-0. And we got one more game to go, so see you in a moment with the fourth and final game. Stay tuned!